Thanks for logging on to NeoWeather.com. I'm Jim Sullivan with your video forecast. Looking at your headlines today, it's going to be dry but cloudy today. We're going to have some snow for the weekend and we'll take a quick look at your New Year's forecast and your seven day coming up in just a minute. All right, now starting off with a look at the satellite and radar and temperatures across the region. We have a little system bringing some snow to Illinois, northern Indiana, lower Michigan. It's lifting off towards the east-northeast though that's glancing the Toledo area but it shouldn't affect the Cleveland area. We're just going to see clouds today but no snow today. Temperatures this morning started out in the lower 20s and upper teens. The cloud cover today is going to hold those temperatures in check. We're probably going to see your highs rise into the upper 20s and lower 30s. As we zoom out here and take a look at the surface map across the country this morning, we have some low pressure stretching from Oklahoma to Kansas, and that's going to ride by tonight and give us some snow. There's the snow that's moving off towards our northeast that's affecting Chicago right now. The rest of the country is pretty quiet, but that won't last long. There's an area of low pressure near Houston, Texas that's going to round the corner and come up the east coast over the next couple days and give interior northern mid-Atlantic and New England some good amounts of snow. Looking at the numbers for Cleveland now, yesterday and Thursday we did 33 and 28, which is right around average. Records for today are 68 and negative 3. We won't be close to that. We saw 600 of an inch of precipitation yesterday. That brings us to 3.47 on the month, 44.16 on the year. As we look at your daily forecast for today, lots of clouds today. Temperatures again not rising much, upper 20s, lower 30s for highs with light winds tonight. Forecast says cloudy. We're going to bring in some snow chances, though, and I'll get to that in just a second. And what we're going to see happen tonight is a low pressure area is going to track by overnight. It's going to track near the Ohio River from Cincinnati to Pittsburgh. And that's going to spread an area of light to moderate snow into northern Ohio. The farther southeast you are, the heavier snow you're going to see. But we're going with a general 1 to 3 inches across the area with maybe local 4-inch amounts down near Tuscaroras County and Youngstown. This is a bit of a revision to our forecast, but this system's coming farther northwest than we originally thought, so we're going to have to adjust here. And then, behind this little system snow tonight into tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, the winds are going to back around to the northwest with good moisture, and we'll see another weak upper-level trough rotate through, and that's going to set off the lake effect snow. Heaviest is going to be in the primary snow belt, but even as far west as the secondary snow belt in Cuyahoga, Medina, and Summit counties, there will be light amounts. Generally, we're thinking one to three inches. This will be Saturday afternoon through Sunday morning with local four inch amounts in the primary snow belt. Now, again, this isn't particularly heavy, but when you add the two snows together, some areas may see over half a foot of snow. Now, you may hear that and go, oh no, not half a foot of snow, but it's really not a big deal because it's really going to be spread out. About half of it's going to be tonight into Saturday morning, and then the other half is going to be Saturday afternoon into Sunday morning, so when you spread it all out, it's not a big deal, but it's something to keep in mind if you have plans this weekend. And with that said, now here's the rest of your seven-day forecast. Like I said, tomorrow, when this forecast was made, it was uncertain how much snow we would see, but we're going to increase those snow chances tomorrow to 90% with that update later today in the seven-day forecast. Sunday, the snow does end. Monday, we're going to try for a dry day. Tuesday, we're going to get another weak system in here with some snow chances. Wednesday and Thursday, there will be clouds around, maybe some lake effect floating around. Again, we'll keep watching that for you as we get closer. Temperatures are going to be cold in the lower 30s through Monday. And then behind that system on Tuesday, we're going to see highs in the middle to upper 20s and lows in the teens. I'm Jim Sullivan. Thanks for logging in. Check us back in tomorrow.